Hello everybody, it's Navy Boy, it's episode 40, and man, we beat a boss last time, we got a doggy, and he, he's got some fire, it's pretty cool, um, so yeah, remember how I was all like, talking to her from behind, I don't think I can replicate that, I think it was definitely a glitch, <laughs> but alright, okay, what should we do today? It's Sunday, so we should probably do the only thing we can do, which is probably hang out with that one kid. Right. I mean, hold on. I'm going to go here. See that that gourmet king is there. You know, who knows? Who knows? No, he is not. That solves that mystery. Oh, there's a kid here. Is that the no? That's the, that's, the, that's the dude. Claw machine. Holy crap! There's a crane game right here. I had no idea. I just been walking in the door this whole time. I'll give it a try. Sure. I can. I can do it. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> whatever. I, whatever. <laughs> um. At least it's realistic. <laughs> um, what is there to do? I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go hang out with that one kid. Hopefully he's there. Who knows? There he is. I want to see, can I go in here still? It's closed today. I forgot. They, they're not there on Sundays. Sure. Let's do this. Oh boy, it's growing. It's growing and showing. This is how we do it. Hi, how was your day? Quite wonderful, Fuka. Quite wonderful. <clears throat> okay, let me think here. Hey, how's it going, Yukari? Oh, that Chidori girl. I forgot all about that. <laughs> this is the first episode I've been recording today. Uh, cheer him on. <laughs> uh, we should, we should cheer him up. I think that's what I meant. Cheer him on. <laughs> God. That was a little bit of a uh, weird translation or something. What's going on, Dow? Capturing her shall provide us with quite an advantage. We are moving ever closer to completing our mission. I kind of think of him as like William Shatner in some ways, like the way he talks, kind of. Uh, so let's go do our normal routine, I guess. We don't need to rush into the uh, the place just yet. In fact, I don't even think we've got a call from that one girl saying that the barrier's broken yet. So I don't know. Let's see, quiz game, please. Hmm, I don't, I don't remember there ever being three options. Interesting. Okay, well that dude's not there, so let's see if the monk is there. Matatsu. There's my boy. What a strange kid. I was just thinking you might show up and here you are. Hey, don't get me wrong, kid. It's not like I was looking forward to seeing you or anything. What's the deal with your hair, kid? <laughs> Is that what's in style nowadays? Can it, doesn't it get in your eyes? My son kept his hair long, too. My hair's long? Oh, my God. You should cut it. No, better yet, shave it all off smooth like me. 
Hmm. Well, I, uh... <laughs> well, will ya? You won't? Which is it? Oh, I should have told him I should have. Damn it. What? You're not giving me a clear answer because I'm bald? Well, don't worry about hurting my feelings, kid. I'll show you young and good looking now, but just throw a weight. I mean, look at me. I'm old and ugly. My cheeks sag like damn bulldogs. That's life, kid. People get old. Someday I'll be just like me. You look in the mirror and think, damn, I was handsome back in the day. Here's a little trick so you won't lose hope in the future. Just don't expect nothing. Simple, eh? And uh, that way you won't be ever, ever be disappointed. You're gonna lose your hair eventually, kid. So I bother with it now. Ball is beautiful. You just wake up in the morning and go. No fuss. I can, I can even give you money for the shave. As of this recording, my hair is growing longer and longer by the minute. <laughs> my hair is like down past my shoulders, kind of. It's like, it's it's easily touching my shoulders. And it's like kind of drooping down a little bit, but uh... Yeah. I don't know. I don't even want like, like, like I, like I tell people, I don't really care. Like, I don't, I don't want my hair to be long. I just don't want it to be short. Like, I don't know. There's just something about whenever my hair gets really short that I hate because it reminds me of like when I used to be like a little kid basically because my hair used to be always like really short back then and I just like I, I don't like what the way I look when my hair is short that's all it is. Yes, you put me to sleep. Oh, you can't sleep here, kid. Go home. <laughs> Oh, I best the girl. I best the girl. Oh, what the frick? Oh, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Sorry, I'm busy, dog. As long as I just say that I'm busy, I don't think that he can ever reverse the social link or anything crazy like that one friggin' douche in the swimming class. Monday, Monday, Monday. Oh boy, what's going on Yukari? Me and you are going to get it up. Remember when I made her upset by being quiet? <laughs> it doesn't seem like Chidori is going to talk, does it? Junpei is really worried about her. I wonder what happened. That's Junpei. Yeah, you're right, but still, I'm a little worried. What's going on, Fuka? Uh, I don't, I don't have any plans, sure. All right. Hey, we got we got to get it get it up with her too, not just Fu, uh, Yukari. I almost said Fu Fukari. God. Oh, Yukari's there. His music is just like, as soon as I saw it, the music started playing. Oh, boy. I don't know what I should do. Hey, what's going on, Jupiter? How you feeling, man? No one better try to stop me. If they do, I'll be pissed. So, actually, I'm going to stand here and look, at this, look out this window for the rest of the day. So... <laughs> I'll go hang out with Fuka since she requested me. I'm, I'm, I'm nice, you know. I'm not. I'm not mean. What's going on, girl? I got Sarah's body, girl. Everything is gonna be good. I love this music. I'm. It's starting to grow on me, especially whenever the. Uh, oh damn it! Stopped. Whenever the. Whenever the saxophone pops in, that's when I like it. I made lunch. Would you mind trying some of it? I think I'll take better than last time. Alright, I'll, I'll try it. <clears throat> it looks better. Alright, 
I'll take a bite of this. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> the cat just walking by. Hate is going to hate. Meow. Shoo. Oh, a kitty cat. Oh, he's so cute. He looks hungry, doesn't he? Here, kitty, kitty. Maybe I should give him some food. What do you think, Charles Spoon? Sure. I was hoping you'd say that. What am I going to say? No. This cat doesn't deserve food. He's on the roof of a school. How did he even get here? I don't know. Hiss, hiss. Huh? The cat ran away. What happened? Was it, wait, was it the food? <laughs> oh, this is, this is, this is not food at all. This thing's hateable. Hmm, I must have left it out too long. Sorry, Charles Coon. Please don't eat any of this. I don't want you to get sick. I'm so disappointed. I just want to help everyone, even outside of battle. And there aren't many chances to, to, to eat homemade food when you live in the dorm. So I thought it'd be nice to make lunch for everybody, but oh, I need to get better at cooking. Maybe with your help, Charles Coon, I can. She seems to need my help. My relationship has grown. All right, I'll teach you how to cook. All right, you just you get a piece of bread, you put some turkey on it, put some mayonnaise, put another piece of bread, done. That's how you cook. All right, that's how you cook for me, at least. That's all I need. Turkey sandwich. Go make me a sandwich, Vuka. Go make me a sandwich. She thinks I'm easy to talk to. It's kind of hard for me to say this after all that's happened, but I'd be happy if you were going to taste, taste test my food again. Well, I'll see you later. You decided to go back to the dorm. Why don't we do go back to the dorm together, Fuka? Why you gotta be all mean? Hi, how was your day? I don't know. You would know since you know, like we were hanging out all day. Whatever, whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk to you, Fuka. You, you don't even remember me. I was on, we were on the roof, and there was a cat. And like stuff was happening, whatever, Fuka. If you're gonna be like that, well, what's up, dog? You wanna go for a walk? You're on the move for a walk? What the freak's wrong with you, dog? I'm gonna go do my routine then. I was gonna be like, ah, I'm gonna take you for a walk, you know, but whatever. I never felt like dumb, dumb, dumb. I don't want to eat either of those. Let's go hang out with the monk then. Maybe. I'm gonna go actually look at the uh, see what I can sell. I feel like I have some stuff to sell. I'm an old guy. <laughs> Let's see. I can I can sell that right. Yeah, I can definitely sell this. I can sell these Yudas. Man, I'm rolling in dough. I can sell this. I can sell that. That. Oh, that's a good price there. I'll sell this. Is that it? I can make a girl happy with one of those. Uh... Uh, uh, I only have one of those left, man. I need to get another one of them. I'm scared I'm gonna get hit. So does that protect me from all both of them? M yeah, Hama and Mudo. That's pretty cool. I like that. Don't want the waste to continue. <laughs> and let's see, is there anything I want? In fact, I think that one lady actually you can make with her. I want to see if I can make a homunculus. As long as the game doesn't freeze on me. What's going on, girl? Okay, fine. What kind of items? Hey, I can actually make one. I can actually make quite a few. I'm going to make all these I can. I need these. These are really good. I got four of them now. Let me think here. Attack mirror. That, w that wouldn't be bad, but that's only physical. That'll probably be pretty good right there. I'm gonna make a couple of these. 
I don't know about that. I mean, that maybe, but... Like, I don't really know what strength is. Like, I'm sure someone out there knows, but I'm saying, like, myself. Like, does that mean if I cast magic, would that increase also? I don't know. I got enough of those. Her hair really grows. That's creepy as hell, but whatever. And how do you make a how do you make a Japanese doll with some onyx? <laughs> like, yeah, I just got this black freaking rock. I'm gonna make a doll out of it. Turquoise. Gotta use some turquoise and make a googly eyed dog. It almost looks real. Hmm, alright. Well. That's cool with me. What does a bead do? I didn't even realize. That. Oh, that's actually fairly useful. I might make one of those. All right, the game didn't freeze. I think we're. Oh, that. It, did you see that? It chugged up again, man. Something wrong is wrong with that part of that disc. Luckily, we got through it though. I want to save the game as soon as I can now. I'm scared. We'll see if the uh, priest is there, the monk, whatever you want to call him. Matat Matatsu, my boy. Oh, he's not there. What do I do then? I don't think I've ever been in this situation before. Where I have nothing I can do. Let's see. There's nothing to do here. Because I don't need charm. This place, lights are off. This place, no one's on patrol. That place is courage. I don't need no courage up there. That place is just a store. This is just a store. I might as well just go do this then, I guess. Yeah. I mean, that makes... I didn't really think about that, but I guess that, that makes sense, right? Let's get our punching bag. Get our persona strength up. What will I do? Let's go ahead and study. Our academics are close to increasing. I, I feel like they're close, but I know they're not. But I just kind of... I feel like I'm more like getting there slowly. So we're getting there piece by piece. I bet by the end of October we'll probably be there. If we study like every night we can at least. <clears throat> Dun dun dun. So, Yamagishi, do you sense anything? Not really, just a sketchbook and a girl. By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't keeping you here because we hate you. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Chidori? Again? What's your obsession, Junpei? Uh -huh. <laughs> Did she say anything? Why don't you? Can I just talk to her. Oh, why doesn't everyone leave besides for Junpei? Because I think that he probably would be the closest to getting her open up to him. Iori, it seems like you're letting your emotions get the best of you. Is everything okay? Well, not exactly. I know she attacked me, but. I can't stop thinking about her. <laughs> I'm in love with her madly. What? I'm gonna take a bow. Junpei Kun. That's your name, Junpei. <laughs> what? Seems really weird. You okay? Hey. I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. You really do like to draw, huh? <laughs> She's just like, what? It doesn't matter. <gasps> she spoke. No one else but me can understand my pictures. Chidori! <laughs> what? Why is he excited? Rape. Again? Oh, she bleeding, making her little blood pictures. Why are you bleeding? <laughs> that was a weird noise. I thought was, I thought it was like a car honking its horn. She does it to herself. 
No, I thought I'd removed all the sharp objects in here. Apparently, we can't leave her unattended for even one moment. But fortunately, she heals at an astounding rate. Oh my god. Let go of me. Medea. Then, at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for your help. You were the one who misunderstood. My blood magic. Well, I want you to stop. You can't be doing that. It's not right. I gotta cut myself to make myself feel alive. And I won't let you. I'm so gothic. I'm so emo. The doctor will be here soon. You two should go now. All right, let's go, Junpei Kun. Come on, Junpei Kun. It's you, ye. So, you seem to have found your voice. Dang it. Yukari, of course, wouldn't be here the day that I want to talk to her. Or that I would, I'd want to hang out with her at least today. You know what I want to look for? I don't want, I don't want that kid. <laughs> I don't want that kid. Um, I'm looking for Mitsuru. Because I, I want to get a social up with her. Oh, yeah. She's usually over here, if I remember correctly. I don't know if I can yet. I don't know how this game works. <laughs> I was like, I'm a little kid. <laughs> He's not really a little kid, but whatever. What am I coming here? Health lessons. No, I don't want to go in at all. No, no. Going for a, a going for a lesson, I guess. I don't what. Oh man, this guy. Jeez. What brings you to the nurses, Elvin? Hee hee hee. You kids want some meds? <laughs> My supplementary lesson. You're quite the promising pupil. Perhaps this one may. Ah, pay no mind to the mutterings of a kindly nurse. Hee <laughs> hee I feel I must ask. You have your own deck of tarot cards, don't I? I can smell them on you. Do you consult them regularly? I don't know what this guy should sound like, really. <laughs> If, if you uh, if you own a deck and you don't use it, it's a shameful waste. Though while we're on the subject, why not a detailed lesson on the use of the tarot? I warn you, it's a complicated subject, and it will take some time. Do you want to hear it? Uh, sure. Why not? We'll we'll go through it. <laughs> Very well then. Your fate is sealed. Today we will examine the most common use of the tarot: reading one's fate. Or as is more commonly known, fortune telling. For now, let's keep to a simple one card spread, where you draw and interpret a single card. It will suffice for learning the basic methods of the tarot. Now a quick word on the deck, and for best results you want to use all 78 cards. But for today's ex explanation, we'll limit ourselves to 22 major arcana. The procedure for telling fortunes via the tarot goes, goes like so. Shuffle, cut, spread, and read. That means mixing them all up, putting them in a pile, lining up the drawn cards, and examining them. When I say spread, I refer to how they will be rep uh, how they will be presented. It's a concept that I'll come back to several times. Ah, I nearly forgot about the necessary preparation before handling the cards. Before one begins a tarot reading, one's mind must be calm. Try to unify your consciousness while relaxing at the same time. You must also keep in mind the goal of your reading, as to avoid wishful thinking clouding the result. Once you, re once you relax, it will begin. Place the cards face down on the table to hide the pictures. Then the client of the reading will shuffle or mix the cards. If you're reading your own fortune, then you'll perform this step yourself. The most common method is to spread them on the table, mixing them in a circular motion with your left hand. The left hand is the agent of subconscious mind, you see. Hehehe. <laughs> Though... If you're clumsy or lost or lost a hand or what have you, you can use either you can use either or both hands. It all depends. When the client is satisfied, make a single pile which completes the shuffling phase. And by pile, I mean neat orderly stack. Now, onto cutting the deck. 
Split the stack you've made into three piles, each one roughly the same height. Normally a client also performs the cut, but the fortune teller is free to perform this step as well. Just let the spirit move you. It may be your own feelings and it may be an occult inspiration. Reorganize the three piles and, and in the order of your choice and stack them into one pile again. Once this is complete, the reader should take the pile. Be very careful on this step. You must preserve the direction that the cards originally faced. If the client is someone else, turn the pile of the cards face the same direction away. If the, if the client is someone else, turn the pile so that the cards face the same direction that they were facing. And now it's finally time to draw a card. This is the fa this is the spread phase. We're doing a one card spread, so turn over the top card and place it on the field to the side. In some methods, you spec specify which card from the top, but that's outside this lecture. The card on the, on the field provides the answer to a client's question. Now at last, the reading phase. First, we must understand the card's meaning. What the card represents depends on if it's reversed or not. Do you remember that much? Yes. There are a few exp uh, exceptions, but in general, a reverse card is negative and has a different meaning. Once you understand the drawn, the drawn card's meaning applied to your question, let inspiration rise to the surface of your mind and, well, form a story around it. I'll say it, I'll say it once more. Form a story around it. A story, I say. A story. Your story. Our. <clears throat> Excuse me, I went too far. Regardless, simply telling the client the card's meaning isn't considered a true reading. Using the clue derived from the card, the reader must use his inspiration to look into the client's future. It's important to converse with the client as well to assist with your inspiration. Tarot is about both reading the cards and reading people. Hmm, should I be saving this for posterity? What's that? Each card's meaning? Didn't I hand out notes on that before? If you lost them, I can't help you. Research that information on your own time. Well, I think that's enough of an explanation for today. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. Always steal your inspiration after the fortune has been told. Ah, uh, say farewell to the cards, for instance, or imagine cocooning yourself on a in a sleeping bag. If you don't steal your inspiration, it may draw unwanted attention. Hmm, uh, talking so much at once is quite draining. Run along home now. Mr. Itagawa's lecture is over. Wow, that was a... Uh... That was quite lengthy. I probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. <laughs> all he had to do was say, shuffle the cards and draw them and see what you get. <laughs> That's basically all he had to say. Uh, let's see here. We'll see if we can find Mitsuru or someone. I don't see Fuka, because she's probably at the hospital along with Mitsuru. And I'm sure Yukari somewhere else. Let's let's see if we have practice today, because I forget. He's still st let's stand out of that tree. Well, that's amazing. Let's see if we can get our relationship back on track. Tension is giving <laughs> the, the strange tension between you and Kazushi. Ask about his training. That's what he enjoys talking about, right? Yay! We did it. Now we can hang out with him again. How's it going, Yukari? Ignore him. I was just saying the other option. I don't really care. Who are you? Oh, wait, that's one guy. I was like, what? Was there some dude over here standing, like, chilling out? Just they're like, oh, my. Man. Couldn't see him from over here. It looked really dark. So I was like, who is that guy? I'm gonna go for a walk. My god, dog. How's it hanging, Fuku? She hurts herself. This game has some dark things in it, like child abuse. Let's see. Uh, 
teachers going out with students. <laughs> um, see, it's got some murder. Not, I don't think anyone's been murdered, actually. Or actually, that one kid got shot, didn't he? <laughs> uh, um, man, there's there's some uh, cutting of self. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty deep. Hey, does that dude? Let's see if uh, quiz game's here. All righty, dude. It's your time to shine. Um, today we'll talk about. Oh dear me, I just can't concentrate. I get so worked up when I picture his face. Uh, who are you talking about? One of my employees. I suppose I should have seen it coming. He seems to calm down. There was a young man who was working for me. He was a good kid who graduated from a well-known university, but this month he wasn't able to meet his sales quota, so I docked his pay. After that, his self-confidence went down the drain. Then he just stopped coming to work. What happened to him? He probably locked himself inside his room. I don't care. <laughs> I just made him. I, I just mailed him his uh, a dismissal notice. C O D. Cease and desist. It's his fault that the company is in the red this month. All that money I wasted on training him. It makes me sick just thinking about it. Ah. Is it always about money with you, man? Of course, I love money. Money won't betray me like he did. <laughs> it's difficult growing up with no money. When you can't even afford gym, <laughs> shoes for a PE class, going barefoot in gym during winter can be torture. I've been thinking, how would you, how would you like to model exclusively for my company? Your innocent appearance would be perfect for camouflaging the ugly realities of business. Think about it, will you? You won't ever have to worry about being able to buy shoes for PE. Sure, if you give me some money, I'll do whatever you want me to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is this ever going to go anywhere? <laughs> like, am I ever actually going to get hired by him or something? Yeah, I guess we'll have to find out. We'll keep on coming back. Level 5, man, halfway. Oopsies. I better get back to work. I have to reevaluate the budget. If I decide to hire someone new, it'll cost a fortune to train them. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, sure. I don't want to freaking mess you up, so I guess. Oh, but I bet Yukari's gonna call me and then I'm gonna flip my shit. Oh, whatever. Don't ask me why. Take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself. Oh, my leg is so sore. What's up, girl? <laughs> what kids? I guess that's just there to make sure you don't just aren't just clicking X through everything. <laughs> sure. I guess I'll hang out there. Since she did request my my uh, my presence, I guess I'll be there. How much you gonna guess Yukari's gonna be right there the day that I told Yuko? Um, oh my God. 
And I bet Fuka's gonna be at the end of the hallway too. Chilling out. That dude's there, that girl's that. <laughs> oh man. That was a Freudian slip. What's going on, Yuko? I guess we are kind of going out now with her, so we should probably insist on going. <laughs> that way we'll get it on. Yoga Gun High School. Kids are waiting for you. Hey, it's been like a couple of months. Where have you guys been? Coach, we raced one-on-one -on -one and we beat two of the sixth graders. We lost to the other two, but overall it was a tie. They're going to let us use the playground now. We even became friends. They said we're pretty fat and we're pretty fast for fourth graders and told us we could play with them sometime. I knew you guys could do it. I wasn't worried at all because you trained so hard. Thanks, big sis. You guys don't have to call me that if you if you don't want to. Just call me coach. You go seem happy. One, two, three. We can count to three. Look at us. Good luck with your boyfriend. <laughs> God. I guess it's official now. My boyfriend. Why does it seem like the end of some cheesy made-for-TV movie? Well, there they go. Are you relieved? Of course, I'm the one who gets who'll get busted if anyone finds out about us using the practice field. <laughs> to be honest, I was almost too lazy to help them, but now that uh, they're not here and not around, it feels kind of lonely. Hey, I'm here with you. You can't be lonely with me around. I don't want to give you the impression I've been slacking off as a team manager, but like teaching those kids how to raise, it was the first time I've really put my heart into something. Alright. Maybe I was meant to take care of people. Maybe. By the way, I want to thank you, Charles Coon. Maybe we should have a little party. You know, to celebrate our first attempt at coaching. Sure. Let's have a party together, girl, at your house. Get it on. The restaurant will be expensive, and I'd rather not have it at the dorm with all those people around. Yeah. Yeah, going back to her room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You developing feelings for me. Mm-hmm. Seems like things are starting to get serious. What level are we with her? Like six? I hope it's six, because I want at least like four more sessions. <laughs> It'll probably be nine or like eight, they'll watch it. Oh, seven, all right, right in the middle, whatever. I'll take it, three, three more sessions with her until her time is up. She might be upset if you got with another girl. Hey, this is, this is not, I don't like that at all. This, this is, this is, hey. I, I, I play the game called Persona 4, and that never happens. Ah, well, we'll just hide it. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll just cover it up. I guess we better go with her first. Just try to get all of her done, and then once she's level 10, I don't give a shit anymore. We'll go hang out with all the other girls. Have we been holding... How long have we been holding that Chidori girl? About four days. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's save the game and go out and do our routine. How long have we been recording? Like 10 minutes so far? I don't even know. 38 minutes? What the fuck? Dude, these go by so fast now. It's like... Jesus. Like, that's never happened before. Like, Persona 4, every single episode, I could tell you two, like, within... What? What? I could tell you within five minutes of, like, our exact time. Like, alright, it's about 35 minutes into the episode. Alright, we're about 22 minutes out into the episode. In this game, it's like, oh, like, 38 minutes. <laughs> like, what? It feels like I've probably been recording at the max for, like, 20 I don't know. I don't know what's happening. At least you guys can't complain about the episodes being short. <laughs> I don't think I've had an episode that's under 30 minutes, I don't think. 
Hey, I want that quiz game. Come on, academics. Get another little boost. Oh, who wants to hang out now? Oh, gosh darn it. <sighs> Sorry, I can't talk. Gosh darn it, whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as I say I'm busy, I think that they kind of... Whatever. I don't, dude, I don't... Jesus Christ. I'm... <sighs> I should just tell everyone that I like, have like a job and I have to be. The, I, I can't do anything on Sunday. I should just tell everybody that so that they don't ask. Jesus Christ. Tonight, probably Yukari's gonna call me and then freaking Fuka's gonna call me tomorrow. God. Japanese culture plays an important role at the dinner table. Adequate demands that we say a specific phrase both before we eat and after we eat. What? Why don't we say after we eat? Gunpei, you to know this. Huh? Me? Me? I'm, I'm trying to worry about Chidori, though. So, I mean, I kind of can't right now, so... Yeah. Hey, Charles. What was the... Uh, what was the question? Uh, uh, dude, I have, dude, literally no idea. Uh, Sama? That's, all right. Gucci, Gucci, Sama Bin Laden. All right, let's go with that. Correct. Wow. It's similar to a Christian blessing before a meal. Last time, my darling. Phew. Thanks, Charles. Charles, I'll jump by the answer. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> God. Oh boy. Yo, Chitterita. Chitterita. <laughs> don't make up nicknames. I don't think she's like that. <laughs> Come on, cheer up. I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. That wasn't necessary, Junpei. Man, he wants to get it on with this chick bad. He said my name. I was worried I'd never hear that again. Any luck? Any luck talking to the chicken over there? The chikorita? She finally started talking. The chikorita. Basically, he just called her chikorita. I just realized that. Yeah, chikorita, use, use tail whip. Or, no, wow, tail whip. Freaking, uh, use vine whip. But nothing useful yet. Well, use razor leaf, start. chikorita. So, why are you here? <gasps> uh oh, she's gonna die. Chidori, what's what's wrong? <laughs> oh god, Darth Vader's in the background using the force on her, choking her. Oh Jesus Christ! Someone's mounting her. A persona. Ugh. Ugh. I can't <laughs> sorry. What are you doing to her? Someone is is doing some weird, freaky stuff. Chidori! Relax, it happens. What? What? They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. What? I don't... What? Who? That's why they need to take suppressants. To keep their personas from killing them. <laughs> what? Suppressants? Their persona's gonna kill them? You know about Strega? I am one. He pulls out like a gun, shoots them all. That's what. You'd yeah. be surprised what you can learn on the streets. I'll give the doc the right pills. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait. Hey. Hey. Why would you do that? That's scary. Hi. The persona's Hi. gonna kill you if you don't take a pill. Junpei. Oh, thank God. 
I thought you might be. Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. It kinda is in some ways, but whatever. What are you saying? I'm not Dying scared of death. just means you don't wake up anymore. That's all. Yeah, it means that uh, you're dead. That's what it means. What? You don't really mean that, do you? Pretty sure she does. I don't want you to die, Chidori. I love you. Junpei. Junpei. Just because you're not afraid doesn't mean no one else is. Did you ever think about how I might feel? Yeah, basically. <laughs> you're so weird, Junpei. Yeah, you're not weird at all. You're cutting yourself, wearing, wearing like weird. I don't even. <sighs> Look who's talking. Yeah, basically. I think that that's honestly like the same kind of mentality I kind of have. Like hey, I, wait, I don't, Shinji. I don't think I myself would be scared of dying really. Because, like, I mean, nothing really happens, but, like, at the same time, the reason I'm scared of dying is because of, like, I know there's other people in my life that'd probably be sad, and I don't, I don't, I don't want that to happen. What the hell's going on? How do you, how do you know about these Strega? Why did you have those pills? I had to control my stuff, too, all right? I got herpes. <laughs> I have outbreaks every once in a while. I've heard about those. They're taken to suppress a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... You're not taking them, are you? <laughs> well, I mean, if he needs them, he needs them. Answer me! I don't owe you anything. <sighs> the same as always. Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power, but you're just too thick-headed. I'm tired of your damn preaching. Yeah, preacher. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Did you get it? I'm, yeah. Fight him. You know the reason. Ten years ago, my sister, the fire. I wasn't strong enough to save her. They held me back while she... That's why I try so hard. We promised, remember? To become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why the drugs? I mean, he might... What if he needs him? I'm, I'm, I mean, dude, he doesn't... <laughs> that girl almost died in there because she didn't have him. I think that he, if he needs him, he needs him. Why didn't you come talk to me? I'm back in the fight now. Why Why can't some people control their persona? I don't... I don't none of us have problems with that. What? I don't even know. So let it go. Please explain. Game, help, help. I'm hanging on a thread here. A story thread that's going on a tangent. I don't know. Help. And then the side effects? I know it makes my voice really deep. The side effects are horrible. There's something I need to take care of. It makes me talk like this. It's something only I can do. Like what? Listen, don't worry about me. Just do what you think is right. Well, that certainly is interesting. Class is in the for today. We can hang out with that boy over there, but we can hang out with this girl here. Wait. Wait. Oh, dang. I might come back. I need to check if Yuko's out there, because I want to get her done first, you know? Damn it. <laughs> you, you, Fuka's not there. All right, Yukari, you're up. You're up at that. But we can't get too intimate, all right, because I got a girlfriend now, and it's...
blown you more. Man, might get better soon. What's up, Elizabeth? Elizabeth. I'm calling to inform you of a change in Tartarus. I believe the path of those blocks is now open. I saw you let you know. Okay, what's your ship journey? Welcome. 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 Back, back, back. Remix. Got it. I got it. What are you doing? I'll think about it. While you're bidding over, uh, I guess uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna headbang it. She's like headbanging. Oh, we're banging, all right. <laughs> All right, that's going to end it. Oh, man. Another episode down, guys. Our persona Ying is coming to an end. Slowly by slowly. But we still got a while to go, so... Let's, let's keep it rolling. Um, so, that's going to do it for today, guys. See you guys next time. Maybe.